Which of these rooms is messier? We can quantify that with a measurement called entropy. Let me tell you how that helps us do machine learning. Entropy in machine learning is a measure of disorder or the uncertainty that we have in a feature. So if we look at this plot, you'll notice at the bottoms of the plot, where we know that it's likely either minuses or plus, the entropy is really low. But as we move up higher, what we see is there's a more equal distribution between minus and plus. And if there's a 50-50 distribution, the entropy is very high because it's hard to figure out what the order is in that system. So take a look at this table. Now, if we're trying to understand the liability and which people are either normal or high liability, we take a look at this and we see there's seven in each category. So that ends up giving us an entropy of one, the highest there could be because we don't have any information that helps us figure out what category it is. In contrast, take a look at the credit ratings. For example, with poor, we know they're always in one credit rating, right? That's a very low entropy. Take a look, which has a higher entropy between excellent and good? From a machine learning standpoint, this becomes valuable because we can use credit rating as a way to understand liability. If we know the credit rating for somebody, we have a little bit better chance of understanding the liability, simply because, for example, if we know that their credit rating is poor, well, we know their liability is probably very likely probable to be high. And so here you can see how one variable helps us understand the other, and we can use the concepts of entropy and information gain to actually calculate this.